Hi, I'm Rahul and in this tutorial we will learn about how to label the barb graphs. So earlier we have learned um, that how to plot the bar graphs, uh, whether it is a dodge bar graphs or a stacked bar graphs, but sometimes we want to label the data like here speed underscore came page by we want to label inside the bars. So to label the bars we have to use the geom underscore text function inside the uh, syntaxes so that it will shows the uh, labels of the data so earlier we are uh, from initial we are using this experiment data set where there are three variables are available experiment underscore type date and speed underscore which came ph so at first let's plot uh, the labels on below the top not at the top but below the top so to do that use the ggplot function and give the data equal to experiment and with mapping is equal to aes aesthetic and inside that x equal to give interaction interaction means it will plot the combinations of two variables here in interaction we are giving the two variables experiment underscore type and date and in y we are giving the speed underscore kmph and after plus give the geom underscore bar and inside that stat equal to identity and after plus give the geom underscore text so it will uh, provide the text in the bar okay and to provide the text inside the geom underscore text give the aes and inside the aesthetic which gives label equal to speed underscore kmph so what Label, uh, what variable you want to label so we are want to label the speed underscore came page so it will label the speed underscore came page so under aesthetic give label equal to speed underscore came page and after comma give the v just that means vertical justification it will move the uh, text in upward uh, vertical direction either upward or downward based on changing the value you can play with this value and with comma again give the color equal to white the text color would be white and give the size equal to 5 and if you press ctrl enter then you can see that here is the bar bar plot and here is the interaction experiment 1 january 14 experiment 2 january 14 experiment 1 january 7 experiment 2 january 7 and here is the label that is in white and with such a size 5 with size 5 and white color and vertical justification is 1.5 so it is below the top so next we can also do for level above the top okay if you want to label this variables uh, label this such as uh, bars but at the top so to do this just you have to give everything as the earlier we have given up to this and inside the geom underscore text just use the vertical justification equal to minus 0 0.2 and here we are giving the color equal to black and size is 5 so if you press ctrl enter so you can see that now the labels are at top with black color and size 5 so in that way you can label the data and adjust the position so sometimes you can see that here it uh, that maybe sometime it will happen that this bars or this uh, labels may go out of the bar area to avoid that we can increase the y-axis value or y-axis range to do that we have to adjust the adjust the y limits to be a little higher to do that use the ggplot function and use the data equal to experiment and mapping equal to aesthetic and under aesthetic give x equal to interaction of two variables experiment underscore type and date and in y give the speed underscore came page and with plus in next give the geom underscore bar and inside that stat equal to identity and with plus again give the geom underscore text and here in aesthetic aes give label equal to speed underscore came page to label the speed values and give the vertical justification minus 0.2 color here is red and size equal to 5 and with plus give the y limits so wide limits such may be ranging from 0 to a certain value uh, so start with 0 give 0 here and with comma up to what limit so up to the maximum value of speed we want to um, uh, set the limit up to the maximum value of speed to do that use the max function and inside that 
give the experiment data set with dollar sign select the speed underscore came ph variable or values and it will take up take out the maximum value of speed and we are multiplying with 1.1 that means such we are also increasing the y limit by 10 percent more so that the y limit has to get increased such 10 percent from its 100 percent that it would be a total in 110 percent okay so 1.1 multiplication is 10 percent increasing in the y limit of the speed underscore came based on the speed underscore came page value so if you press control enter here you can see that now it is in red and here is the gap is increased of this y limit okay so now you can easily uh, see your uh, labels and it is it uh, it will not have to go beyond graph area and it will remain inside the plot now if we want to uh, add labels on its grouped bars when the type is dodge okay so how we can do that so again the ggplot function data is experiment mapping is aesthetic here uh, we are not giving the interaction here we directly giving the x equal to date in x axis date and y axis speed underscore came page and fill equal to experiment underscore type and with plus we are giving g underscore bar we are want to plot a bar plot and stat equal to identity with comma position equal to dodge now we want a dodge bar plot so we are giving the position equal to dodge plus g underscore text so aesthetic is equal to label equal to speed uh, under aesthetic label equal to speed underscore came page so it will uh, it will label the speed value comma vertical justification 1.5 color white size 5 and with comma now actually we have provided the r that we want a dodge bar plot but the text doesn't know that whether it is a dodge bar plot or whether it is a stack bar plot so to give information to the geom underscore text we also have to provide inside that the position equal to position underscore dodge and by default it is such a size uh, with this 0.9 so 0 0.9 okay so the text also knows that it is a dodge plot okay so press control enter now you can see that it is a dodge plot okay and here is the values 40 45 65 75 experiment 1 and experiment 2 so now how to add labels on the stacked bars okay say it is a stack bar not uh, this uh, dodge bar plot and to do that same use the x equal to date y is equal to speed underscore came page and fill is equal to experiment underscore type and in with plus give geom underscore bar statical to identity and we are not providing here the position equal to dodge so it automat automatically takes it is a stack and again we have to give the text geom underscore text the information that we are going to use a stack bar plot and the text should be in stacked form so again we are inside that giving the position in geom underscore text giving the position equal to position underscore stack and vertical justification under that we, you have to give the vertical justification so how vertically the text would be um, so equal to 0 0.5 and color we are giving here white size is 5 so press control enter it will show you that it is now stacked and this is the bar values or labels at the middle so with particle justification justification 0.5 it comes to middle here you can also adjust as per your requirement so next we are also uh, increasing the customization say we want to plot a stacked bar graph change the outline color that outer color is a, a provided with a thin line is uh, with the color black and resize the text we will change the text size add a kmph string or kmph character using the paste function so whatever the value it should also provided with the kmph add two digit after decimal point using format we also want to provide a two decimal value and use the pastel one color combination so in default color we uh, we want to change the default color and want to give the pastel one color combination so use ggplot give the data experiment mapping is equal to aesthetic in aesthetic give x is equal to date y is equal to speed underscore kmph and fill equal to experiment underscore type plus 
then g underscore bar static equal to identity color equal to black we are not giving dodge so it is a stacked bar plot okay and this color equal to black will add a black outline on the bars now gm underscore text inside that aesthetic we are giving the label equal to using the paste function that paste function what it does it combine two strings or two characters together and print it okay so paste under that paste function again we are giving the format what this format does it will help in providing the decimal values so inside the format for what variable we want the decimal value so inside that format which we are giving the speed underscore came page data in which we are want decimals with comma n is small n small that how many decimal points you want so two equal to two two decimal points and with comma there is a character came page that speed values with two decimal point and came page will be pressed together and act as a label with comma again we are giving the position that how the text position would be it would be um, stack or it would be dodge so here we are using the stack so giving the position equal to position underscore stack with vertical justification 0.5 with comma the color of the text is equal to black and size is 5 plus scale underscore fill underscore brewer that will take up the uh, inbuilt different palette combination colors and put in the bar graph so inside that using the palette equal to pestle 1 if you press control enter then you see how beautiful the graph is I mean, aesthetically so here is the 40 45 65 75 with two decimal and along with kmph character and you can see how the uh, ggplot2 is um, uh, how ggplot2 actually making this plot so aesthetic aesthetically beautiful and so easy to build using this syntax so thanks for watching and if you like that videos please subscribe and again thanks